help you learn to love this picture um, and various pictures of the nephron, which is the blue part here, and the collecting duct and system, which is the tan. So this is an overview of the processes that occur in the nephron. We are going to go into detail into reabsorption and secretion next week. We've already talked about filtration. So that's this first step right here where we're making the filtrate. The job of the nephron then is to reclaim most of what we dumped in there and then to further secrete and modify what's in there. So I'm gonna do an overview of that process throughout the, these different regions um, right here. So first I wanna go through reabsorption. Where does reabsorption occur? What, um, yeah. And breaking it down by solutes are in pink going out um, and the water is the blue also going out, right? And where is this stuff going or coming from? There is a, a blood vessel system, right? Um, paratubular cap capillaries and or vasorecta um, that this is going to, where we're going to reabsorb our substances into. Okay, so back to reabsorption. A lot occurs at the proximal convoluted tubule. We're gonna have glucose, amino acids, vitamins, other nutrients, a bunch of electrolytes. So potassium, chloride, um, sodium, bicarbonate, all be reabsorbed, right? It's going in there. Some other stuff also. Water is going to follow that, right? So that's the blue right here. Water is also reabsorbed. Um, as we get down, we've got another pink here. We're gonna have some more electrolytes. Great. Then we've got a pink here. Do I have that right? Yes. No. Well, it is water. Water is right there. I don't want to do my water in pink. Um, we're actually going to have some urea here. It'll all make sense. Urea kind of goes back and forth. Some. Um, so the big ones that we'll, where we'll talk about reabsorption are going to be here and here. Solid reabsorption. Water reabsorption is going to be pretty big in the proximal convoluted tubule, the descending limb of the nephron loop, and then collecting duct. This is going to be variable water reabsorption meaning it can be regulated by antidiabetic hormone. Okay, then we've got secretion. Secretion I'm going to do in green, um, orange. That's what I have here. So secretion means we're taking things from the blood and putting them into the, the nephron. Even though most things already went in there, we wanna um, get, so like wastes, so we're actually gonna put some more urea and other nitrogenous wastes in there, um, hydrogen ions, some drugs. And then we've got, that's going the wrong way, isn't it? We can ignore this here because we have this one here. This is all the distal convoluted tubule here we're gonna have some more hydrogen, potassium actually gets secreted and um, nitrogenous wastes. That is also going to be here. Last thing, we're gonna have some more toxins and drugs. Okay, that's our overview. Next week, we're gonna go through this in order so PCT, nephron loop, DCT, collecting duct. Um, but this is a nice maybe overview of what we're gonna see in the different, different sections of the nephron and collecting duct system.